Hello everybody, the One Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we fought a couple tyrants while I uh, continuing on with the story, and we found one, an another one of the Pharaonis Hulks. So that's pretty cool, and now we're just going to continue on here. And we're already close to our next destination anyway, so we don't have to Ooh, explore us for long. <laughs> what do you reckon? Kind of weird how there's no music here. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Rain. I hope it won't slow us down too much. Okay, is there Should anything here? The yeah, yeah, there's an um, ether channel I hear over it's tough here. Going inside. We'd best be on the lookout. I see an ether. Look at this. Let's check this. Let's see if we can't get some use out of it. Here we go. Watch the moss, guys. Mind you don't slip. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> he says, falling flat on his ass himself. Oh, yeah. Bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me. Noah! Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... Don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah. Kinda. Uh, Mio! Ah, uh, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I just lost my footing for a second. I I'm okay. For now, I'm okay. For now? Are you... not feeling a hundred percent? Ah? Nah, nothing like that. I'm totally fine, promise. Like I said, I just miss my footing. If you start feeling worse, just say. I don't want you hiding it. Mm. You're a kind man, aren't you? I, I, I'm just being polite. So what was on your mind, earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe... could it have been something that Mobius did? Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah. I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Keves, and the consuls. Or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that all the fighting, it might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. And to them, Ouroboros. Only spell trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all, they must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side. Hmm. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. But it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. But I figure, isn't discovering that our real objective here, right? If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. Hey, can we take five? Okay, so we discovered Old Way Camp. 
Uh, yeah, that, there's like a quest there. Okay, so let's uh, first check this out. Ugh, that is so rank! Oh, it's these two guys again. What happened? I said I wanted a nice meat dinner. Why the spark would you ruin it by putting that in it? Eat only meat is bad for body. Bam bam put health healthful ingredient. What's the issue now? Oh hey, it's you again. Listen to this. This this one's here trying to kill me. Spiking my food with the worst thing in the world. Glare Au Aberdeen. Give me strength. Duty of cooking is, is split into shift, and Bam Bam want to make healthful food with good ingredient for strength to travel far. Is that so crying? But Doran will only yell at poor Bam Bam. It tastes of yuck, so stop, he yelled. I don't need to be so mean, Doran. Can you not sort this out? No, 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 let me explain. Bodily health is fine, whatever, go for it. But s s surely putting up with disgusting food is actually har harming the health of my soul. Even if he needs to put glare aubergines in my dinner, he can at least make an effort to make it taste like real food. Bam Bam, not kitchen slave to grant extravagant wishes of Doran, and nothing can be done. I bet Banana has some ideas, right? Ho ho ho, of course Banana has ideas. Banana can share secret of making this ingredient sing. You did that? Hear that, Bam Bam? Bam Bam, Bam, Bam here, please teach secrets. Banana oblige. Before we start, we need fine nectar of Bulblesia. Is Bulblesia a flower? Correct, it bloom at Emony's Hot Hollows. Okay, we can take care of, for, of providing those. Dora, you two make the pre preparations for cooking. Can do. And we got a quest, a more balanced recipe. That plenty enough. Now, extract it. They ne nectar from pick picked flowers and yeah, well, whack it in. I love a bit of sweetness. Whacking is a word on becoming a chef. Not do that. So what do we do? Some nectar on a tree over there. What will that do? Wait, we pour it on the tree. We're gonna eat the tree. Have faith in Manana. Friends understand what time, when time is right. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna check this here first to see. I've been craving some downtime. We can level up again. No, not yet. Let's move out. So let's head this way to this tree. Okay, Manana, that should do it. Can anyone else hear wings? No man, we're coming! Ah, save me, not bugs! Anything but bugs! The ingredient is arrived. Everyone here at Plum Lambus. The thing is the ingredient? Is this a joke? I mean, if it's coming at us, we better take it out anyways. Okay, we have to fight this sweet plan bus. I believe this should go down pretty fast. Oh, 
And it's down! Good, lots of fluids harvested. Fermenting bug juices! We mean to eat body fluids? Flambers only eat flower nectar, so body fluids very sweet and rich. Well, for real, it's still bug juices, though. Bug juices, man. Everyone think it, think it icky at first, but as Manana keeps saying, trust in Manana. Well, let's go back to the campsite. Come on, who else? All right, let's check out. I think check it out at the camp. Jet please simmer and glare aubergine and fermenting bug juice together. Give quick singe and end up for finishing touch touch. And plate! Smell of delicious manana and real master Chevy Chevy Pawn. Batman proud on that, but it is still glare aubergine and bug juices. You do turn do you do tum the service. Now shut mouth and try bite. Okay, one bite. What's the verdict? It's the greatest thing I have ever eaten! But how? It takes the gross vegetable taste and augments with, with the tart sweetness, giving it an almost fruity tang. Man, that real true? Feed me as many glare aubergines as you want. It's fabulous news. It's the start of taste revolution. Manana, please teach us as many re recipes as possible. A pleasure. Manana always loved to share wisdom and re recipe with the world. Thank you, great teacher. Bam, you really learned all this from me. You're, real, you're the greatest friend an ex mechanic could ever have. Tasty food is important for a long journey. Eat lot, lots and lots and keep energy strong. Bam Bam, heed words of teacher. You heard the lady Bam Bam, let's gorge it till we burst. Then we can get back on the trail. It's a deal, bestest friend. Hey, don't we get any? You thought they'd make any for us. And we have finished this quest. The new More balanced recipe. Oh, so that's how they're doing. There we go. And now we can go back this way. Or not that was that was a dead end. Up these stairs. And oh, I kinda got sick stuck there for a second. Whoa! Got a rare dude all right here! Okay, now down here. Oh, a container. No, I saw. Yeah, there is a container right there. Oh, seriously? It's right there, but there's no way to it. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. I guess we have to see this cutscene first before we can even get to the container. Or we actually, I guess we can go over here. First. And it's open. Let's just sneak a peek. I don't like how there's no music here. Kind of creepy. Discovered High Mac the Wildwood. Man, those Mobius mooks, they make my feathers stand on end. Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke.
Their word for people like that? Know what Nopon say? No idea. Tell us? Super villain pon. Riku, what does that mean then? It be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Meme? What's up, Manana? Then, are Noah and Mio and friends, super villain pon? You're labeling us? Labeling. Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not make them super villain pon? I mean, it's not like we ever had a choice or anything. It was them or us. So when no choice, not fall under definition then. None of us ever fought because we wanted to. It's just how it worked. How people worked, world. So, world is super villain pon. Huh? Since it make everyone do nasty things, world is bad guy. The world is... bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is... suicide. So what? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution, then, is to erase the self. To die. See? Pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say bit dim tonight, or... Looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's the power of Ouroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become supervillains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? Okay, we've severed Vista of Ronar. So, uh, I think we need to go down here. Fallen soldiers. And, uh, yeah, there's a right soldier husk here. Repose. You sure we're going the right way, guys? Mmm... Well, it's a path, at least. Looks like it's gonna be a real pain getting through here. True. But we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take. So let's just get this over with. Look out! 
What? What the? An ambush? Huh? Weapons! Quick! Okay, we got natural selection. Agnes fighters. Five of these guys, the straight Agnes ninjas. Two more. Let's see a chain attack. Let's do a uh, tyrant wave. Let's go with uh, my my apple screen. And uh, overfall. And uh, let's do. Razor Wind. Reactivation. Two bombshell blitz. Go with the overfall. Green. And hammerhead. Another reactivation or or a boros order. Let's see demon demon finisher. Go with uh map the screen. Do you think it packed? Nice! 1,000 experience points. There we go, nice. Go. 
We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper, Imogen's at her limit. She can't keep going. Huh? Spark! And we could have had their life, too. So close. <gasps> That's very unfortunate. We'll have to retreat, then. What was all that about? Weirdos. Noah, what's wrong? I was just thinking. About that archer, they seem quite the formidable opponent, to be sure. That's true, but there was something else about them. Say, you don't think... Those soldiers' flame clocks. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's hard to put into words, but something's off. What, and you think we have time to be traipsing around on this whim of yours? It really bothers you? Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Once Noah's like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, why do I bother? Besides, Noah's intuition's usually pretty on the mark. We could just take a... Fine. I can see no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. However, if it turns out to be nothing, we head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. OK, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their tracks. OK, um... I guess we have to interact with this. No, you know how folks are when they're flame. Follow the trail. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. Okay, wait, why does it stop? Well, following the trail, I just like to pick up all this, these, collectible, these collectibles. Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? Hmm. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Yeah. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Nimble little so and so slided down here on a rope. We discovered spring of quartz. Walk to do that. All right, I guess. What's down here? Uh, there's a ladder. Oh, crap, I almost died. Well, anyways, guys, I'm actually gonna end this episode off here, guys. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment about, about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4 Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.